And now a WJZ exclusive. Baltimore City Police have launched an internal affairs investigation following a drug investigation that left a suspect brain dead. Adam May has emotional reaction from family and the information from police. Only eyewitness news cameras are rolling when crime scene technicians arrive gathering evidence and investigators with internal affairs question witnesses to the arrest of Dion Snipes. The Baltimore man ended up in a coma following a drug investigation off Fairmount Avenue Monday night in this West Baltimore alley. When they were chasing him, he literally said he threw the stuff. But apparently they found the stuff, stuffed it down his throat after they had tased him and beat him, you know, kicked him and beat him like crazy. Snipes' sister says her brother is now brain dead at University Medical Center. They kicked him and stomped him so bad, they're just, his lungs are just damaged, they're gone. But police have a different account. They say Snipes swallowed the drugs and officers were trying to give him the Heimlich maneuver. There's also conflicting reports regarding that possible taser. We have nothing documented of a taser, but again, that's what IID is there to do. I want them to talk, well, they will talk to those witnesses, and we're hoping those witnesses will cooperate because that's, they're trying to put these pieces together. You're sure you saw a taser? Yeah, I'm positive. Yeah. They, he pulled it right out. And you can hear it. It was like... And what happened to Dion at that time? He started going into a light. Like, you know, like you've been electrocuted. Back of his head was whiter than you. You could see blood, stuff, all good, good stuff was coming out of this man's nose. Any allegation of professional impropriety is taken very seriously by the commissioner. So uh, we have some allegations here that uh, police officers did something wrong, and we're going to investigate those, those incidents. Snipes has been arrested two dozen times since 1991, mostly drug charges and an assault. His family admits he wasn't a model citizen. They could have locked him up, maybe put him in prison or what have you for a long period of time, but to kill him and do what they did to him was totally unfair. And tonight, the family says that Dion Snipe will be taken off life support in the morning. Then the medical examiner will try and determine the cause of death. That'll be vital to this internal affairs investigation. Back to you. All right, thank you, Adam. Police say they could have some results from their investigation sometime next week.